Is it fair to say that their quickness, specifically of their big guys, was the biggest difference between this game and Purdue on Friday night? Um, I wouldn't say that. Um, I don't know. You know, I just I didn't I didn't really recognize my team the first ten minutes of the game. You know, um, I thought we came out a little a little slow, a little timid. Um, give those guys credit. They kind of jumped on us early. Um, you know, the, the game plan, We I thought we had a good game plan. Um, I don't know. You know, we just – they was a better team today. Man, big kid is good, man. You know, and to get 22 and 20 is pretty impressive, right? Um, he did a good job. You know, he had 15 boards at halftime. I, no one, no one, no one really dominated us like like that before. Um, you know, he was kind of all over the place, to, to everything. You know, it was just, man, it was. Kind of wish we could play this game over. I would did a couple of things different, but like like I said, you know, yeah, give those guys credit, man. They uh, they came out and they deserved it today. Yeah. Like I really thought we was gonna win this game. I'll be honest with you. You know, no disrespect to them. I just thought that, you know, we could, we could match it with them pretty good. I know the big guards was really good. I know the big guy was good, but um. I wasn't great today. I'm really, really disappointed in myself. I can make some more adjustments. I'm really, really not happy with that. But you know, this is a great experience for all of us. Man, you kind of learn from everything. You learn from the good, you learn from the bad. You kind of move move forward. So we're going to move forward um, as a program. I'll move forward as a coach and, and learn from today and then get better. Dan. Dan Gelson, Associated Press. Uh, Shaheen, um, how do you feel about you know what you might have to go through Handle what might be ahead for you professionally in the next week or so. I mean, have you you've been trying to? I'm not worried about that, Dan. Right now, I'm just worried about those 15 young men right now whose you know heart is broken and and really down. It's, it's my job as their leader to cheer them up and make sure they understand what they did the last two weeks. You know, um, and like I said, we're gonna walk out here the same way we walked in with our head up. What are you gonna remember the most about the last few weeks here? You know, that a group of guys came in here, no one gave a chance to, no one believed in, but the people in our locker room and the people on, you know, that that's, that's in our program, you know, administration, you know, us, and and, and, and made history. You know, they, they shocked the world. They, you know, you got guys that's going to be remembered for things that they could tell their kids and grandkids. And, like, it's, it's a story within the story. So I'm super proud of these guys. So they came in and, and, and made history. Point blank period. No one in our area done it, have done it. Last team to do it was PJ Carlissimo and Seton Hall team. St. Peter's did it. Point blank period. And I'm gonna end it on that. St. Peter's made it to the Elite Eight. Great story. You guys should write a lot about it. Thank you so much.